What's up, everybody? It's your boy again, the Unibonger, the official mascot of Humane Garbage. And if this is your first time watching one of our videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks. So I was wasting a little time on Twitter today, and I happened across this headline. Trans species man who self-identifies as a deer accidentally shot by hunters. Now, uh, that seems pretty fake to me, however, I actually googled it, and according to the website newsbreak.com, this, I guess, does appear to be a real story. So let's take a look at this mental illness real quick, shall we? I guess I found this actually on personcountysportsnow.com. Okay, so... A South Carolina man who self-identifies as a deer has been transported to the hospital via helicopter after being shot by two hunters. William Tenenbaum, 31, is lying in critical condition according to medical staff at Allendale County Hospital after being mistaken for a deer by two local hunters. Wow. So yeah, apparently it's a uh, mentally ill person. Um, one of these, you know, crazy sex addict people who basically um, oh, have a mental illness. But, you know, we don't really do anything about that in our society anymore because um, we just kind of want to close our eyes to it and hope it eventually goes away. And I guess in this case it probably will, huh? According to the two hunters, Tenenbaum was dressed and painted in the colors of a deer and was wearing antlers which made him unrecognizable to the two men. Oh, wow. But, but, he, okay. Jesus, I just saw this quote, too. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. It was the first time in my life that I'd seen a deer stand up and walk on its two legs. That's when I went for a clear shot to the lungs. Harry Perkins, 72, told reporters, visibly shocked. Okay, let's... Jesus. Let's let's stop there already, hunters. Jesus. That that quote That quote kind of says, "Hey, um we've got some problems on both sides of this fucking story." Um It was the first time in my life that I'd seen a deer visibly stand up and walk on its two legs. Wow, buddy. And that didn't give you pause. That's that's when I went for a clear shot to the lungs. Harry Perkins 72. Okay. So, a 72-year-old man, let's be honest, you shouldn't be out in the woods hunting, and this kind of shows you why, because you're getting old, you're getting doddery, and you're frankly not making adult decisions. That quote, the words from your own fucking mouth, buddy, said it all. I saw the deer get up on his legs like a fucking man, and that's when I decided to shoot him. Now, I get it from the pictures that uh, we have here. <sighs> yeah, he's dressed up like a deer. This, Jesus, this... Uh, let's let's move on. Let's move on. I think I've made my point on the stupidity of both of these people so far. This is a short little article, too. I must admit, I didn't really find a whole lot of links for this in a Google search. This was kind of the main article that popped up, and it's fairly short. You know, it, it seems like the deer man isn't dead yet. Um, anyway, let's continue. The deer looked like it was rubbing its chest and its genitals and signaling us to come closer. It was very surreal. Thomas Pinecut, 68, admitted to reporters. Wow. So, one of the questions becomes, did this guy actually see these hunters? And it's like, ooh, let me get more into this cosplay. And thought he was going to make it some sex thing. Maybe it was some sex thing, period. Like, he, this dude in the deer suit had hunters come and, uh, you know, hunters, quote unquote, like dudes dressed up in orange bullshit. And they pretended like they saw him and then they'd go and f in the woods. Um, maybe that's what's going on here. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's continue. William Tenenbaum's mother, Michelle, said that her son has always been socially awkward and struggled with making friends, but has a great passion for nature and the outdoors. When he was eight, he believed he was a porcupine. Then at 12, a squirrel. Now he's a deer. It could be worse. He could be a homosexual, his mother argued when reached by phone. This is great, man. I'll be honest with you. This is my first read through of this. Um, this short little article is fairly based so far. Um, yeah, it could be worse. He could be a homosexual. But I got news for you, mom. He is. Tenenbaum's mother admitted that her son's life choices are eccentric and have necessitated some adaptation by the family. On Thanksgiving Day, since deer don't eat meat, we made him a salad of pine needles and pine cones, which he seemed to enjoy, she added. Huh. Okay. 
In 2016, William Tannenbaum made local headlines for breaking and entering into a deer farm and allegedly sexually assaulting several animals, but was later released after the owner decided to drop the charges. Uh, bad news, Mom. Like I already alluded to, after that sentence, all I'll say is it's got worse, Mom. So, yeah, basically, we've got a story here of a mentally ill person who should basically really be in some sort of institution or some sort of place where he's not allowed out into society, was out in society and got shot by hunters being dressed up. There's, uh, honestly, all kinds of fucking problems with this story. The real fact of the matter is the 72-year-old man shouldn't have been out there with a hunting rifle in the first place if he's not smart enough to know that something's fucking wrong when you see a deer stand up on its two fucking hind legs the other part too where it said he was rubbing his chest and genitals and signaling us to come closer y'all motherfuckers should have said hey we need to just put this gun array and turn around and go home there's some weird fuckery bullshit going on here but it's just more bullshit it's just more mental illness that nobody really wants to take care of or do anything about we just want to turn a blind eye to it and you know this happens and well, it could be worse, right? At least I wasn't out hunting. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you this time. I'm trying to get into a mode of making kind of quick and dirty videos that are hopefully pretty topical. And I'm going to try to be cranking these out here in the near future to kind of get YouTube kind of looking at me and hopefully delivering my videos to potential viewers, potential subscribers. Again, if this is your first time to Humane Garbage, please click the follow button. And you can even tickle that bell to get notifications sent directly to your phone and in box and as always remember to hit the pipe harder than you hit your wife and kids <coughs> <coughs>